A bloodthirsty, prehistoric hybrid creature rises from the waters and begins devouring all humans it meets along the way. Today we recap the story of Piranaconda from 2012. On one of the Hawaiian islands, biologist Lovegrove hires a team consisting of a hunter, a cameraman and a helicopter pilot, together the group flies deep into a beautiful rainforest, where according to reports from locals, a legendary creature from Polynesian folklore known to be a hybrid between a piranha and an anaconda has been spotted in recent weeks. As soon as he disembarks from the helicopter, the scientist asks the pilot to wait while they search for the monster's nest. After some time exploring, the professor finally finds the nest of the legendary reptile and then asks the woman to take the camera to record the eggs in their natural habitat. After making the recording, the biologist collects one as a sample and keeps it in a jar. At that very moment, some bubbles begin to form in the water and a gigantic snake rises from the waterfall and when it sees its eggs being collected, it enters a state of insane fury and devours the body of the hunter who was on the bank. The bite was so strong that a literal cloud of blood began to hover in the air. At the sight of the gigantic creature, the woman panics, drops her camera and starts running, but after a few steps she ends up falling and without having any way to defend herself, she is also devoured by the snake. Taking advantage of the creature's distraction, the scientist keeps the pot with the egg in his bag and begins to flee stealthily through the woods. In a clearing nearby, the pilot who was waiting for the team to return, hears the terrifying sounds caused by the monster and determined to get out of there as soon as possible, runs into his helicopter and begins to take off, but when he is at least 10 meters high, the creature takes a shot at his aircraft, causing a lot of damage and making it release a lot of smoke, with the impact, the helicopter begins to lose altitude and explodes into a thousand pieces when it falls to the ground. A few miles away, a crew of cameramen are making a low-budget slasher movie and after another grueling day of shooting, the director wraps up the shoot and sends the crew back to the hotel before it gets dark. While they are putting away the equipment, Jack, a professional stuntman who is the great villain of the slasher, invites the screenwriter Rose for a date at the hotel bar. After accepting the invitation, the woman begins to take advantage of the last minutes on set to revise her script before they leave, when she is interrupted by another employee who is looking for an object used in the recording. After searching the entire set, the woman decides to check the surrounding woods and ends up finding the object lying on the ground among the trees, but as soon as she retrieves the item, she is found by the giant snake that, when trying to swallow her, ends up spurting a slimy and very disgusting ooze on the body of the woman who, frightened, begins to run. However, halfway through, when she is close to a bamboo forest, the girl ends up falling and has her leg torn off at the base of the bite, but this is just the meal, even after swallowing the woman's foot, the mutant creature is still not satisfied and devours the rest of the girl's body with a single bite. Already at the hotel, Rose goes to her meeting at the pool bar to have her moment alone with Jack, but they are interrupted by Kimmy, the protagonist of the film they are making, the actress wants the stuntman to apply sunscreen on her back and even though it is an extremely mean attitude, he ends up accepting. While Jack does the favor for the girl, a tourist who is sitting in a chair next to her recognizes her and extremely excited, asks his wife to take some pictures of them together. Kimmy insists that the stuntman also appear in the photographs, but determined to get back to his date, Jack simply leaves the place, which leaves the actress very dissatisfied. As soon as the stuntman returns to his table, Rose is already annoyed, so she takes her things and leaves Jack there alone, ending the meeting. On one of the beach chairs we can see that an extremely suspicious man is watching the camera crew while talking on the phone. A few kilometers away, a tourist is on a tour with her motorized boat and stops at a nearby marina to follow the trail that will take her to a beautiful waterfall, but as soon as the young woman enters the water, the creature half snake and half piranha appears behind her and in a supersonic attack swallows the woman, destroying her body completely, leaving only a large pool of blood in the water. After a long time walking aimlessly in the middle of the forest, Professor Lovegrove finds an old truck totally rusted in a large abandoned factory, trying to find supplies, the man checks the interior of the vehicle and after confirming that there was nothing there that could be useful to him, a woman appears from behind the truck and points her shotgun at the scientist. With her hostage overpowered, the criminal guides him to the abandoned factory, which some outcasts have occupied and turned into their HQ. As soon as he is taken to Pike, the leader of the outlaws, Lovegrove tries to warn them about the danger that the mutant snake could pose, but as expected, the bandits ignore the story and take him to a part of the facility that is used as a prison, where the biologist must stay until his college or his family pays his ransom. In the middle of the forest, a trio of botanists have been walking for hours looking for a rare flower with healing powers and when they finally find it, one of the women moves away from the group to do her needs, but after a few seconds it is possible to hear the girl screaming in the middle of the forest. Believing that her friend may be in need of help, 
The scientists collect the flowers and prepare to go after her, but there is absolutely no time to do anything. The mutant snake forms a circle around the women and devours them both with a single bite. Early in the morning, the tourist couple who took pictures with Kimmy the day before are now following a trail that leads to a deserted beach in the uninhabited part of the island. When they arrive, husband and wife run straight into the water and after some time, the man goes to a tree to do his business while his wife goes back to the sea. While he is relieving himself, the tourist begins to hear strange sounds coming from the forest and when he least expects it, the mutant snake appears behind him and crushes his body against the tree and then devours what remains. Noticing the lack of her husband, the woman then begins to call for him, but obviously is not answered. After the failed meeting, Rose and Jack head to the set but when they arrive, they discover that the investors have abandoned the project and because of this the studio has decided to cancel the movie. Frustrated, the employees begin to pack their things to return to the hotel and then to their homes. Unaware of the cancellation of the film, an actress who is staging in the middle of the forest finds the snake and, horrified by the size of the monster, starts to run, but ends up being cornered by another snake, that's right, there is more than one of these creatures. Hungry, the two mutant reptiles end up attacking the woman at the same time and due to the immense strength of the animals, the actress is completely crushed between the two snakes, who soon after start fighting, because neither of them got their precious meal. While returning to the hotel, the group of cameramen find a car stopped in the middle of the road and decide to stop to offer help, a big mistake, because that vehicle was nothing more than an ambush prepared Arturo, that suspicious man who was watching them in the pool the day before, he is the sub-leader of the bandits. As soon as Arturo points the gun at them, a group of delinquents come out of the bush and surrender the team, trying to calm the spirits, Milo who is the director of the cancelled film tries to convince them to let the cameramen go in peace, but ends up taking a shot in his foot in response. Trying to escape, the supervisor in charge of special effects throws a bomb on the ground, which raises a large cloud of dust, allowing him and Jack to start running to try to escape. The pair then begins to flee and to improve their chances, they separate in the middle of the woods. In the middle of the chase the supervisor manages to knock out one of the bandits, but Jack is not as lucky in trying to escape, the stuntman jumps into the river and tries to stay submerged as much as possible to lose his pursuer, the only problem is that the criminal saw him jumping and starts shooting in the water, but luckily for the stuntman, all that noise ended up drawing the attention of the mutant snake that when approaching, finds the bandit distracted and devours him with a single bite. Upon realizing that his pursuer has stopped shooting, Jack returns to the surface and begins searching for signs of his shooter, after making sure the man was not around, he then takes advantage of the gap to escape. In the middle of the woods, the bandit who was knocked out by the supervisor wakes up and while looking for the fugitives ends up finding a camera on the forest floor and decides to take it to Arturo, who when looking at the recorded files, finds the footage of the hunter hired by Lovegrove being devoured by the giant snake and decides to show it to Pike. As soon as he puts all the prisoners in the car, Arturo leaves with his henchmen to the factory where he puts the prisoners together with the scientist and hands the camera to his boss. While watching the recording, Pike realizes that the egg that was with the biologist that he believed was a turtle, was actually an egg of the Piranaconda and believing it to be something valuable, decides to keep the object to sell to the black market. While Professor Lovegrove tells the cameramen about the creature's existence, Arturo goes to them and takes them outside where they record a video asking for the ransom money for the studio, but taking advantage of a moment of distraction, Rose manages to escape and runs into the forest while being chased by a masked bandit. After a few minutes of escape, the screenwriter ends up falling face first into the nest of the colossal anacondas with dozens of gooey eggs and is caught by the criminal, but by irony of fate she is saved precisely by the mutant snake that surrounds and devours the henchmen. Desperate, Rose runs back to the factory trying to warn the bandits that that monster was around, but the men just take her to the prisoners again. At that moment Jack and the supervisor find the factory and when looking through the binoculars, they see all the movement, they manage to surrender one of the guards and steal his gun. The supervisor then begins to arm bombs all over the place while Jack eliminates some henchmen along the way until he finally finds the prisoners and escorts them to the car. When they arrive in the open field, Milo decides to stay behind and face the criminals in a real exchange of fire, while the rest of the group tries to start the car. However, all those shots ended up attracting the giant monster snake. Seeing the colossal animal, the bandits start shooting at the creature, but they can't even tickle the thing, which devours Pike's romantic pair. At that very moment, the supervisor activates the explosives trying to eliminate the monster, but all he gets is fatally hit by the debris, dying instantly. As soon as they manage to start the car, the cameramen begin their escape being chased twice, by the creature and by Pike. However, it turns out that in addition to being gigantic, the snake is also extremely fast, 
managing to overtake them and block the road quite easily, forcing them to stop. With that, the bandit who was chasing them finally manages to reach them and with everyone stopped, takes his missile launcher and hits the shot right in the giant head of the snake. Jack then decides to speed up the car and narrowly misses being hit by the explosion, which ends up eliminating the creature. But it couldn't be that easy, of course, when looking at the dashboard Jack realizes that they are almost out of fuel and is forced to stop the car. When checking what happened, the stuntman realizes that one of the shots ended up hitting the tank, causing all the gasoline to leak. It is there that the biologist remembers that there is a dock in the middle of the jungle where there is always a boat of the people who go to make a hike, so, just by finding the marina that they will have a way out of the forest. With the goal set, the group begins to follow the river trying to find the dock. After the widespread shooting, Milo who started walking without a definite direction finds the beach where the tourist is still waiting for her husband to return. The director then tells the woman about the snake and says they should flee immediately, but she doesn't believe the story and decides to continue looking for her companion. The man then begins to follow her until they end up arriving at the nest, seeing those dozens of eggs Milo quickly realizes that that was the home of the mutant snake and warns the woman that they must get out of there as soon as possible, but furious at the possibility of her husband being devoured by the creature, the tourist picks up a branch on the ground and begins to destroy the eggs. At that moment the giant snake appears by surprise and swallows the director with a single bite, leaving only his feet to tell the story. Seeing that scene the woman goes into despair and ends up being hit by the mutant snake. Upon realizing that the tourist was destroying her eggs, the creature becomes enraged and advances against the woman eating her entire upper body in one go. After a long walk, the group of good guys finally makes it to the marina and find the boat of that woman who was devoured at the waterfall earlier. They then start to climb on the boat and when Professor Lovegrove passes his bag to Rose, the pot with the egg is on display and the screenwriter takes it out of the bag for everyone to see. Here they finally get to understand why the creature was chasing them, it was just to retrieve its egg. Furious with the biologist, Jack decides to return to the nest and destroy the giant snake and its eggs, for this, he goes to the supervisor's car to prepare the bombs, but while he is in the car assembling the detonator, Pike appears along with his henchman and hits a shot in the stuntman's shoulder. At that moment, the mutant snake appears on the beach and trying to defend themselves. The criminals start shooting at it, but the snake makes a triple elimination and soon after eliminates Arturo and Pike. Taking advantage of the fact that all the bandits have been eliminated, Jack, Rose and Kimmy start running. Professor Lovegrove takes the opportunity to retrieve his egg and runs back to the boat. Trying to help in some way, Kimmy runs to the vehicle to retrieve the detonator, but the creature rips off the trunk and manages to devour the actress with extreme ease. As they run, Jack finds the body of one of the bandits and takes his gun, soon after that, he asks Rose to return to the boat. After the girl leaves, the stuntman begins to explore the place and finds the supervisor's backpack full of dynamite and in addition, the quad bike of one of the bandits. As soon as she arrives at the dock, the screenwriter finds the biologist about to leave and runs so as not to end up being left behind. Believing Jack to be eliminated, Professor Lovegrove starts the boat and begins to flee down the river, but in the water we can see that they are being chased by the mutant snake, Rose then wonders why the creature was following them like that and when checking the man's bag, discovers that the man was still with the egg, that's why the snake is still after them. Trying to retrieve the pot, the scientist ends up getting into a bodily altercation with the woman and knocks the egg into the water. When the biologist leans over to retrieve the item, Rose pushes him into the river, picks up the pot again and takes control of the boat to return to the dock and help Jack. The scientist who stayed in the water, ends up being devoured by the creature he so wanted to study. Arriving at the marina, Rose starts running through the woods and meets Jack on his quad bike. Together, they head to the waterfall near the nest, where they put dynamite in the pot and throw it at the snake, which manages to catch it with its mouth, saving its young. The couple then jump into the water to avoid being hit by the explosion and set off the detonator, eliminating the last legendary snake. Believing they've finally gotten rid of the creature, Jack and Rose celebrate by kissing passionately as they talk about their next date, but are literally run over by a third mutant snake. And so ends the story of Piranaconda. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.